everyone. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. I'm Brie. And I'm Tori. And this is part three of Nam June's Right Place, Wrong Person album. We are doing it in three parts. So if you are here and you're like, hold up, where's parts one and two? Check the description or run to our channel. Those were over there. So we are going to go ahead and start this video or this part with the lost official music video. So we, go, we're headed to a place I've always wanted to go. Namjoon's brain. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I'm um, scared. I'm I'm very excited and for this song because well, we're going into Namjoon's brain. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like that's a place that has he's always been super honest with us about with this album and so many others. But it's also a very intricate place, like as with all of our brains. And there's so many thoughts and processes and things that we all go through. So I'm really curious what yeah. this one's going to be about. Especially, hopefully, hopefully they don't get too lost. <laughs> Especially since it's called lost. I'm like, <laughs> with an exclamation going? point even. Lost. <laughs> all right. Okay. So pause warning. Let's get into it. Those all little like RMs. A little maze. What the could come back to me? The Lost Show starring RM. Good evening. Join Oh, their cups are backwards. Presenting his new solo single. Lost. Join in on it in the witch Ohio. Performing for us tonight. Give it up for RM. Oh, her face. Oh. Mom. <gasps> I remember her seeing with those wigs on on Instagram. <gasps> hey. Oh. 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 Uh. Oh, that tempo. I'm sorry, it was the way he went. Oh, they're sideways. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Underground, pick it up, throw it in the truck, I love these actors. getting like the pew like we're in the room with them and then the one we're like above them and the like these little pieces of i'm assuming those are like little pieces of a maze almost 
And in the morning I feel love, I hug it in excitement Every morning, every night, I always feel excitement When I feel lonely as fuck, I still am lifeless I'm never loving alone, I'm feeling lightless I'm got them laws Oh, wow, where? Sign. Oh. Sir. He's on. He fell Don't into do fire. That. Don't do that. <laughs> oh my god. I got temptation. I got temptation. This guy's always smiling. <laughs> I got temptation. Hey, good. <gasps> oh, that's where it was in the beginning. Oh, Whoa. the loop. That was incredible. Lost is out everywhere. Give it up for RM. <laughs> It's sort of like SNL oh. skid, whatever. Oh, they're like, we did it. We've time to start over. They were constantly staring at the ceiling quite a bit. I'm scared. I feel like they're gonna look at me. I got temptation. I got temptation. Oh, a little tiny Namjoon. Song was I love the sound of the song. <laughs> okay. He's goddamn lost. Oh, goddamn lost. <laughs> I mean it was very well done in the music video because that was very abstract, I guess. The way that they went through, like, even, I like the way that they use different mediums, too. It wasn't just, like, they used, like, the little clay type people. They yeah. used, like, the uh, animation, the cartoon with, the, like, the little the eyes. eyes. And, and then, yeah. Um, I feel a little reassured to know that someone else's brain can be as much of a maze as my own, even though it's a very different maze with very different experiences. Sure. But it's, like... Oh, okay. Well, yes, our brains are all very, very um, intricate to navigate. And that we all seem like as Corneal? lost at times. Uh, but like you said, that did very remind me of like SNL skits. Just we had those, the two uh, talk show hosts. That's what it reminded me. Yes. That whole setup at the very like interesting sort of um, talk show interview. I liked how <laughs> he was like, Every character will be like at the same time. He there was like one, he looked around like he could see all these different versions of himself and he looked very con like confused. I don't know. I can't. I'm sorry. It's, oh, he's okay. the best mom. Okay. Yes. Um. He just he would every time he'd like look around and see himself, he'd always be like, "It's weird." Well, I mean, if you can hear that, somebody is doing really loud yard work on the street. Sounds like a mosquito truck. Maybe. Um. Well, and he had. Did everybody else have the same name tag on? I right? couldn't they were see all, it. I, yes. Yes. So then I kept uh, wondering, like, are they different, different perspectives yeah. of him, of himself, different emotions, Versions. or different um, um, <clears throat> ways to portray each emotion? Because yeah. we've got the one that's always Happy. smiling, and they have all kind of like a different take yeah. with how things are happening. But by the end, they've all gone together to create him to a help place him and to support go him. up. Yeah. And so I don't know if that was like using his past experiences or all just eventually accepting all of the pieces of himself to get up and out. I would definitely say so since it definitely it says all their name talk, tags say RM. RM. So. And then I was interested in this elevator scene here. I just liked all the, like the little doodles and all the scribbles we had. Like um, I, you could even see the name of the album at one point was scribbled on the wall. Mm -hmm. All of the numbers and things are very interesting. Um, like right here, we've got. Right place, wrong person. Nate, does that say Nate? Wait, what does it say? Nowhere. Nowhere. 
Um, just very interesting. Like all the numbers are extremely mixed. We have some that are like the happy face. There was one that was a heart. We've got this one right here. And so Mm -hmm. just a lot of things are very mixed up and they don't make sense. And that's the way that our brains can work sometimes when we're processing things. Like it just feels like nothing makes sense. But at the same time, he's sitting here talking about how he's never felt so free. Um, and that he's fine not to worry. It does fly. But you're right. We've got all the layers. I liked the 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 way that it was like almost 3D. We yeah. had the aspect of this They're video. Hot. Some are up here. Some are down here. Some over here. It looked very much tiny little one because they showed the maze in the beginning with him be popping up out of the maze. So I do feel like this is just like some giant because they were just constantly walking down these corridors and through these offices. The, the rolling. We got the rolling pin. Constant Eventually, we're all sideways. smacked. Yeah, yeah. We're all like leaning towards so really interesting interpretation of being in your own mind and trying to navigate the processes of emotions and perspectives and your own experiences is what I feel like I was getting from this. And all I can hear in my head is, I've got this. I know, me too. Yeah, okay. I knew they were going to all look at us at the end too. I just felt it. They were thirsty and one of them was thirstier than the others. (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? I wanted I wanted our smiley friend. The way he lifts. I know, slowly. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. I This was just such an incredible, like, interestingly visual video. Thank you. You're That's welcome. what I was trying to find. I was like, find. you went too far. He's just... <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Well, that was the Lost MV. Next, we have Around the World in a Day. And then, then I think all that's left is credits. Yep. All right. And this also has a feature on it. Okay. Look mm. Ooh. Say I love them all your life. Mm. Only time will sort it out. Of course. Okay. Okay. Time will okay. Sort it so interesting in the headphones. that before.
digital trendsetters. Guitar. Oh. Ooh, the chuckle. Ooh, the emphasis. Oh, I feel like there's a lot to unpack with that song. So we start out again with the right and wrong because that's we've got the album, the first track, right, all the things that are right and wrong. Um, but now we're just like, I feel like it's. I'm just gonna tell you yeah. when it's right, when it's wrong. And also, my right could be your wrong, your wrong could be like. Stop telling me what's right or wrong. Yes, exactly. Like stop, stop telling me what is what. And then we have this end ending here again, which just. I absolutely loved the um, you hit me back digital trendsetters. Yeah, or the where he's like, you keep hitting me back, but I've never done the same to you. So like, why do you seem to be so upset with me when I've never put your name in my mouth? But you, my name's always in yours, essentially. I like that. I'm gonna ride the till the hate and love don't matter. I'll ride. Uh, never mind, because I want to do all I want to do is basically dance. Like he just wants to keep like and and do the thing that he wants yeah. to do at this point, and yeah. because. No matter what you do, someone is always going to be either in person or behind the screen <sighs> Digital saying trendsetters. something about you. Someone says something nasty and everybody just like Jumps goes on to that and that becomes the truth when it's not even the truth or just like a toxic opinion. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's sick and tired of it. And I liked like he's, he's going to do what he wants. He's going to be true to himself. Um, and like literally it's all, everybody's freaking numb and it's just rude and like in an, like the attitude around. And you can't, you literally cannot please everyone. No. So why not just let go? Yeah. Do what you want to do. Let go. And that makes me really happy to hear from him. I feel like with him specifically too, because he's had such a big like hand in writing the lyrics and then like his also his solo projects and how candid has been on like, you know, live streams or and things like that, that we've seen him go through like so many different phases of mm-hmm. like questioning where he's at and then coming out on the other end and this is where I want to be now and then questioning <coughs> these things because I think that's just life that's what you do you go through stages and you like have moments of clarity where you look back and you're like you know what why why then growth why? It's, yeah. it's all about growth as well and it's like this is how I used to be and my perspectives kind of changed on things and this is kind of how I am too and especially this has to do with like a lot of people and like um some of the like for him he's been through so many things so it's like the the things that happen to you can shape how you become and how you Mm -hmm. want to see things. So like, you know, when I, as I, as I get older, I try to tell myself, you know, I might've like been quick to think about these kind of things in the past, but like, I want to do it differently now. So you try to like stop yourself and think through things like, why does this affect me the way it does? It shouldn't, I shouldn't let it, Mm -hmm. you know? And it's just, it's just kind of about perspective and how you kind of grow and mature in life. I feel like, cause that's what we get to see from him so often whenever he comes out with his special project, which mm-hmm. is so nice. Cause you get to see, you look into where he is at the time that he's writing these um, albums. And I know that's something that's always been hard for him to accept is that he should be allowed to go through those changes in perspective and feelings and the way he processes things. But with being in the spotlight, the way that he ha- he has always been, um, that that can be really difficult for people to accept or for himself to accept. And so I really like getting to the point where he has just kind of said, like, just let it go. Um, I know we talked on the other songs about protecting his peace. Like, I just really love hearing that from him. So now we should have our last one because we've already done Come Back, uh, Come Back to Me. 
So now we have credit roll. This is how he did the, the intro. The mm -hmm. third day inside or go to life. I'm so grateful for everyone's time. Hope you all had such wonderful like a closing. Night. I mean, makes sense. Credit roll. I'm so grateful for everyone's time. Hope you all had such wonderful night. When the credits roll, do you hang tight? I like that. Was this? There was this, and then uh, come back to me. Is after okay. Um, the answer is yes, because I have seen enough Marvel movies to know that you have to wait at the end for the little extra bits. That's <laughs> the little extra bits. Yes. And that's interesting because there is another song after, which would be Come Back to Me. That so makes sense. That is actually after. funny. Yeah. The that song, was... the album does not end there. There yeah. is one more track afterwards. So I know how those credits work. Mm. Okay. Well, this completes our album reaction. Um, this was such an incredibly truthful and authentic album which is Who just it? so yeah. it's so namjoon the way yeah. that he did it but I, I really did like the old like hip-hop we got in the front of the album and like there was a lot of like jazz r&b mixed in i felt like from beginning to end we were on another journey of exploring his mind and his where he's been and where he was when he wrote this, like he said in the intro to the yeah. first part, is like where he, where was he when he wrote this, up to where he felt when he ended the album, um, and what the story was that he wanted to tell. So this was just like, absolutely gorgeous. Beginning, like the like we said, the beginning of the album seemed kind of a little bit more angry, like "f all of you," and then it just kind of went to, but like the process of acceptance and moving forward and just saying, you know what, <coughs> screw all of you. <laughs> Just well, gonna no, be and happy and with myself. The beginning did seem sort of like an F all of you, but also I'm really angry and I don't quite know how I feel about it. And I'm very, and I'm still really struggling. And then the other half was still sort of like a F everybody who put me in that situation, but I'm good. I'm where I need to be. So, um, this was incredible. I don't really have anything else to say. I feel like we've said it. With we've said a lot. Uh, we probably yes. said too much. So <laughs> if you've watched all three parts or if you've watched any of the parts, thank you so much for being here. We love you so much. Let us know what you guys think of the album, what songs you're resonating with, or how you're feeling about the things that he said, how he's feeling. So we will see you in the next one.